Good day, one and all. Welcome to The Sims 3 with Lady Top Hat. Gamer! Old dudes! Leopard dudes! <laughs> I shall be playing The Sims 3. That was the lovely introduction. And as you can see here, I'm also playing the Island Paradise Expansion Pack, which offers some very interesting uh, additions to the base game. There's also going to be the Pet Expansion and the Showtime Expansion, the University Expansion, and possibly something else that I can't remember. Um, I'm going to be playing Sir and Lady Top Hat as just one of the houses in this game. And I shall begin by loading this family. And then you shall see the beautiful Top Hat house that I have built in which Sir and Lady Top Hat live with Sir and Lady Top Hat's cats. So here you can see the Top Hat house in which Sir and Lady Top Hat live. I have made the house in the shape of a top hat, in case you didn't realise. It's a modest sized plot, possibly 30 by 40. Um, and there's only the house here. There's, there's no pool, there's nothing um, particularly extravagant. I've added trees to make it uh, look a bit more islandy, so there's a lot of different palms. And there's a little water feature at the front for elegance, and possibly a statue hidden amongst the bushes. Um, so Top Hat still has a NAF car, so the big lemon. We, ha we need to get him a better car. And uh, Lady Top Hat drives around in a sports car, which is as it should be. So let me introduce you to the house floor by floor. This is what I showed in the simulator introduction video at the beginning of the month. Um, you saw me building this from scratch. What I've done is I've made a sizable kitchen with lots of different appliances and uh, gadgets because that's the kind of thing Sir Top Hat likes in real life. Lots of gadgets for things. And uh, I've put a little washroom there. And we have the dining room. The dining room, the, the important features in the dining room are the decanter here. Decanter with glasses because Sir and Lady Top Hat drink like fish and here of course some wine bottles and more glasses so that's as as it is in real life as well here we have the the command center uh, lady top hat's desk has a nice green baize finish and a green a matching green chair unfortunately in the sims you can't add multiple monitors which is a bit of a shame because we both in real life have three monitors each however this will do this will do here's the top hat's ben, um, desk with a bit of clutter and um, cat toys. Very often there are cat toys in this house. And I've added a fish tank for interest. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, <laughs> here's the living room with what might be seen as a slightly oversized television um, and a, a potato box for, for social gaming occasions. And yes, there we are. And a hallway which has the cat, food bowls, and a scratch post. That's it. That's the first floor. What do we have on the next floor? Here is the activities level. We have chess and a piano. Chess is important for learning the logic skill. And um, if you get too 
two sims playing together, you can increase both of their logic skills at the same time. So that, um, that accelerates that process. And a piano for learning the, the music skill. And because it, a grand piano always looks cool. Then on the second floor, we have a certain lady top hat. You can see them here. They are, they are snoozing in bed in their elegant four poster bed, fast asleep. And um, they've, gone, they've gone for a slightly oriental theme for the decoration in the bedroom. There's the ensuite. The uh, bath, very importantly, has a rubber duck, uh, which actually gives you um, a fun buff <laughs> if you have a bath next to the rubber, rubber duck. There's um, some, some decor and there's also the bubble bath. So you can, if you buy the bubble bath from the shop, then you get an additional option with the bath to have a bubble bath. And there's the litter tray. I've, I've put the cat litter trays in the bathrooms and included a garbage dispenser directly there. That saves time on the, um, the residents' transit time for cleaning out the litter tray because every time they notice the litter tray needs emptying, they'll do it. Even though I have a maid um, coming to certain lady top hat, um, the uh, certain lady top hat also do like to empty the litter themselves when when they notice that it's smelly. So, and then the top floor is the best floor of all. We have very important for lady top hat and sir top hat is the the science machine. We have a bubble machine for the disco room. We have a chemistry lab for discovering potions, a karaoke machine, a bar. Sir top hat very much needs to to mix drinks frequently. We have an old school DJ table, a dance floor, and here we have a, um, a, disc a disco light. So the idea is, is that we're going to make so many friends and have so much fun that we can, at the end of all of this, have a great big jolly super party and invent scientific things and make potions and all of that. So that is the Top Hat House. We have Lady Top Hat who's asleep, Sir Top Hat who's also asleep, Jack Top Hat. Where's Jack? There he is. The little cutie. I've made Jack in the game. We have Lara Top Hat. Where is she? She's scratching. I've also made Lara. A white cat with a stripy orange tail. And this is the strange thing. When I, st <laughs> when I loaded the family, which was just... Um, certain lady talked about Jack and Lara. All of a sudden, we managed to adopt a cat, and the game called it Hatbox, which I thought was very, very accurate indeed. Now, Hatbox Top Hat is sleeping on the kitchen counter <laughs> because she possibly isn't trained yet to. Is it she? Yes. Um, she isn't quite trained yet to, to sleep on, on, um, in the correct places, but I think it's quite cute that she's sleeping on the counter, so we'll leave her there. And there we are. That, that's the, the Top Hat house, or the Top Hat mansion. So let's play. Let's see what happens. So if you stick with the same family, then you keep all of the wishes. So let's see what Lady Top Hat is wishing for. She wishes to earn 25 Simulonians from blog donations. Uh, ah, I have the seasons pack. You can see it's snowing. Uh, she wants to kiss Sir. She wants to own five venues and she wants to buy something worth at least 100 Simulonians. Right. Let's buy something worth at least 100 Simulonians because that's very simple to do. And what, what I'll buy... I'll put the walls up, because the walls are blank at the moment. I'm going to buy a picture for here. So, we go to decor. An important message for posterity. No, a hip bunny painting. No, that's not quite Lady Top Hat. Playful pandas? My Little House. No. Let's choose... There we go. McBob Landscape. Yes. How much is it? How much is McBob Landscape? 800. 800 Simulonians. Yes. There. We 
go. That fulfills that wish immediately. Go back to live mode. And that one's gone. Now, what else does she want to do? Buy a resort buffet table for your resort. Ah, yes. So, in the last, the, the last um, play session I had, because obviously it took me a while to set all of this up, we bought a resort. So, in the next episode, we might have a look at the resort that Sir and Lady Top Hat have bought. So I'll add that now. Upgrade a resort tower. They're all going to be resort related. Um, the five venues is probably the easiest we're going to accomplish. Let's see what mood she's in. Okay, she's only just gone to sleep. She's probably going to need to use the bathroom when she wakes up. So let's I'll put the walls back down. Then I can see things easier. Go there first of all. 6.30 on Monday morning. Right, we're going to go and do the, the venue business. So let's have a look at the map. Island Paradise consists of lots of islands, as you can see here. What the, Sir and Lady Top Hat have been doing in true aristocratic style is buying out every property that they can get their hands on. So they've bought the grocery store. That means you, you can rename it and hire, um, hire and fire people. Top Hats and Pina Coladas, that's their resort. <laughs> So we'll, we'll do that next go. What else have they bought? They've bought the, the spa and bistro. Uh, they own the bookstore. Top Hat went out and bought the, the smuggler's lair. <laughs> and I've added two new properties. This, I've added this here. Ah, no, I can't purchase that. Where's the other one that I added? Added one on a hill somewhere here. No. I've lost it. I've lost the property that I placed here. Watering hole saloon. I would have to buy it for seventy-five thousand. Now the other thing I've been doing for this is cheating. If you do Control, Shift, and C, then you bring up the command line, and if you type in Mother Load, voila, you you obtain fifty thousand simolonians. I'm going to do that again, so that I can buy this out. I'm going to buy that, and hopefully that will fulfil this wish of owning five venues. We've got three so far. It's a bit tricky which ones you can buy and which ones you can't and which ones count as, as venues. Can't buy the library. Oh, you could buy the library. Okay. Let's go back to Sir Top Hat, see what he wants. He also wants to own five venues, but uh, a married in a mar with a married couple... Um, it's, it doesn't matter which one buys the property, it counts as uh, a venue for both. Uh, because he, because he um, is a member of the Rebels group, uh, he wants to start a hunger strike. <laughs> he wants to play with one of the cats and he wants to increase his rebel influence. So if we look at his inventory and go to social groups, you can see here the... Uh, Activities that you could take part in in order to become either a nerd, a rebel, or a jock. So there we go. What else does he want? He wants to play a game with Lady. Okay, so we'll we'll make sure that he satisfies all of those. And he's quite hungry as well. So the first thing he's going to do when he wakes up is make some food. What's left over? Waffles. No, he's going to serve more breakfast. There we go. When he wakes up, we're going to fast forward. Go. Lots of money. That's the music that plays when you've fulfilled a wish. Oh, Top Hats and Pina Coladas made 203 Simulonians. Collect the resort profits. Excellent. Okay, Winter Festival is here. Right, 
Right, where are they? It's the top hatch. What are you doing? Oh, he's relaxing on the bed. Let's go to play mode. Now, he's disregarded what I told him to do. Make some pancakes. It's the top hat. Lady top hat is going to go and purchase the property. Now, you'll see as she comes downstairs that she has a very sophisticated and elegant outdoor outfit. So you can set... <laughs> The outfit for the for your characters depending on the occasion. So here we go. There's Lady Top Hat in her outdoor gear. There we have it. Splendid. Splendid. Every every woman should strive to be a lady. Off she goes. Tally ho. Walking through the snow. Top hats never bothered her anyway. Let's see the car. Yes, that's what she's driving. <laughs> and off she goes. Tally ho! All right, let's see what the top hat is doing. There we go. He's making pancakes. Splendid. I decided that um, in this game, the top hat would be the chef. So I just will focus on one character to improve the cooking skill. Um, if, if you select, every time when you cook a meal, if you select the option serve, what that does is it makes uh, multiple servings of a meal. And then the other members of the house can eat it. Ah, oh, look, Lady Top Hat just bought a bar. Has that increased... Our properties. Yes, now we have four of five. Right, Lady Top Hat, whilst you're out, go and buy something else. <laughs> what else can we buy? Buy all the things! Um, what about this? No, that's a, a hotel. There, purchase the Crystal Waters Beach. We're gonna buy a beach now. Lady Top Hat, stop reading a book. Go and buy that beach. How's she feeling? Yeah, she's good. She's a bit tired, but she'll be fine. This is going to give us both 5,000 lifetime happiness points each. Let's go back to Sir Top Hat. There we go. And play. Ah. See, so he's made multiple... Servings of this meal, and we can see... There we go! Great. So they've got 5,000 lifetime happiness points each. Where is that? Here, lifetime happiness. So now we can select lifetime rewards. Let's do that. Um, who am I on? I'm on Sir Top Hat. What does he have already? Already he has... Uh, that's the immune. That's a great mixer, I think. And that's free tickets. Let's make him a legendary host. For, for parties. 2,000 left. He wants to include, increase his rebel influence. This you can purchase over and over again. Others you can only... Uh, they're only a one-time buy. But we can improve his rebel influence and get a lifetime wish at the same time. I'd rather buy influence with the rebel social group rather than earn it. I feel so rebellious. That sounds just like Sir Top Hat. He's now an agitator. Oh, he's itching to show off his new gizmo to others and try out his new smartphone skin. All right, let's have a look at his smartphone. Change smartphone skin to rebel. <laughs> now I have a skin. Okay. Well, that is the introduction to the Top Hat House. In the next episode, we'll go and have a look at our resort. For now, I bid you a fond farewell and a tally-ho!